Hey, what's up guys, Jason Julius here. And in this video, I'm going to answer a question from somebody that wrote in the comments and wanted to know uh, the answer to the question of, can a woman have a vaginal orgasm after just experiencing a clitoral orgasm? The girl I'm seeing doesn't seem to enjoy further non-clitoral stimulation after having a clitoral orgasm. And I think that's a great question. So typically when we think about multiple orgasms in a row, uh, when we look at the different types of orgasms a woman can experience, a clitoral orgasm versus a vaginal orgasm, a clitoral orgasm comes from direct stimulation to her clitoris. And after you stimulate her clitoris, it becomes over engorged and it becomes overly sensitive and you don't want to continue stimulating it because it can actually be a little bit sore and it can be a little bit too much for you to continue stimulating it. So oftentimes the best route to multiple orgasms is giving her then a vaginal orgasm or multiple vaginal orgasms in a row because there's you know, uh, a tendency to be able to go in one orgasm into the next, into the next right in a row. Well, sometimes if you give her a clitoral orgasm and then you go to stimulate, say, her G-spot, a lot of the nerve endings in the G-spot are connected to the clitoris. And so be because her clitoris is already so sore, if you go in right away and stimulate her G-spot, oftentimes, not always, you might actually notice that she's actually a little bit overwhelmed or it's a little bit too sensitive. So you might want to back off of that. You need to be observant of what she's experiencing. In many uh, experiences, I know that you can stimulate the clitoris and then immediately go in and she'll be very hyper orgasmic and a G-spot or A-spot uh, orgasm is right around the corner. But if she's overly sensitive, you don't want to overstimulate her and make it uncomfortable for her. So you want to make sure that you're observing that. And another thing is instead of her G spot, I would go a little bit deeper and go back to the back of her A spot, front of her A spot and stimulate her there and see if you can give her an orgasm via A spot stimulation, which uh, is going to be a little bit further back just before the cervix. Don't touch her cervix, but just before that, that area is extremely sensitive. Those are the muscles that contract at the time of a vaginal orgasm. So going back there and stimulating those or that area is gonna probably be a little bit better for giving her a second orgasm after she's already had a clitoral orgasm. So thanks for the question. I hope that answers your question. And if you guys have any questions of your own, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure that you hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video.